Hallelujah. Uncle Joseph, can you bring two chairs up here? Hallelujah. And as you'll see in life, these characteristics, Minister Bryce, they're going to ever be before you. And they ever before you so you can continually strive. It don't mean, that you, don't mean you're not going to have your good days and your bad days. But these going to encourage you to keep your good days humble and keep hope in your low days. Because the same God that called you is able to equip you. Hallelujah. Now, as we lay hands, amen, I'm going to call for first lady. Hallelujah. We're going to do it like we always do that, Philly. I'm going to call for first lady, and then y'all can congratulate him afterwards. I'm going to call for first lady, uh, Minister Ant, Minister Phil, Minister Sam, Minister Brian. Y'all come on up. Come on up. All the current ministers of the denomination and the first lady. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to call for, for Bryce and Shalana to come up. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to the Most High God. Do you remember your day? You bring back memories, huh? Oh, God. That was you and Minister Ann at the same time? James and John, the sons of thunder. Bless you. Bless you. Nice jacket. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we're going we're gonna to anoint, we're going to lay hands, amen, and then we're going to pray. And uh, the minister's going to pray. First lady going to pray, amen. For the woman of God, amen, for uh, everything that, that she's signing up for. <laughs> and uh, the minister's going to pray as well. I'm going to pray as well. And Holly, we're going to probably need some microphones, TP. We're going to need, we're going to need, I know that ain't your job description. Hallelujah. And uh, so we're going to need that, but we're going to anoint. Hallelujah. Paul and Tara here, y'all can wave at them. Hallelujah. They're here to support. Hallelujah. Like you always tell me to hold your ladder because God's doing some amazing things, amen, in Dallas. Hallelujah. Glory to the most high God. Hallelujah. Y'all found a house yet? They're close to finding a house, y'all. Pray for them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to anoint them. Hallelujah. Anything else, for us, First Lady? Afterwards, we're going to have cupcakes and everything in the foyer. Okay, First Lady said they had cupcakes in the foyer. Special ordination cupcakes, y'all. I'm just playing. We want to anoint you with the oil of frankincense, the oil of kings. We anoint you in the name of the Father, name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. We anoint Miss Shalana right now. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit. We don't make you nothing today. I can't make you anything. I'm not making you nothing. This, this service don't make you. I'm just acknowledging what God has made you. <laughs> I, I ain't never made y'all ministers. I just, I just acknowledge what it is. It's what it is. It's what it is. And that's all that we're doing. And so we're going to lay hands and we're going to pray. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting anything. All right, y'all good? All right, stretch forward your hands, and we're going to lay hands on, on Minister Bryce first. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Most high God, we thank you for this day, this day of increase, this day of promotion, this day of multiplication. We've waited for this day as a ministry. We prayed for it, that you would raise up one of our sons, one of our daughters to go out and to preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a wonderful thing for a ministry, God, to be able to send out. Right now, King, we are sending out Bryce and Shalane. Before we send them, God, we want to lay hands on them, anoint them with oil, 
and ordained them to the ministry. Father, we pray right now that his title would change from Deacon Bryce to Minister Bryce of Philadelphia Christian Church of Dallas, Texas. Right now, God, we lay hands on him with the authority that you have given us as a denomination. As Moses looked out and chose out men to help him with the people, we select Bryce Conley to help in the leadership of God's people. And the same spirit that was on Moses <laughs> fell upon the men <laughs> that were selected to help Moses lead. So God, the same spirit <laughs> that's on Pastor Omar, that's on Father God, all the ministers here, to help us lead, to help us get in the word, to help us study, to give us the wisdom, the discernment, to give us the prosperity, hallelujah, to give us, hallelujah, the anointing that would destroy the yoke, to give us that gospel preaching, saving power, to hallelujah, bring revival to our city. The same way we brought revival to Lafayette, let it come full force yeah. to Dallas. Him, the name of Jesus, God has set before you, Bryce Colley, an open door, run it. He had open doors that no man could shut, closed doors that no man could open. We give you the keys spiritually to the city of Dallas. Go out into the highways, into the byways, and compel them to come. Bring them in to the marriage supper. Bring them in to the kingdom of God. When you say that the doors are open to receive lost men, the spiritual doors will open. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, may a mighty gospel anointing be upon you. We lay our hands on you. And the Bible says, stir up the gift through the laying on our hands. We stir up the gift. We don't stir it down, we stir it up. <laughs> right now we command a next level anointing upon you. We claim a next level of fire to be shut up in your bones. A next level of leadership, of wisdom, of discernment, of pastoring, of husbanding. I don't know if that's a word, but being a husband. Right. A next level of parenting. A next level of financial breakthrough. Yeah. That you would not only pastor, but your side hobbies and hustles would be great. The same way, hallelujah, you you looking for a house, you're going to buy houses to house people yeah, in the name of Jesus. Right. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. They will follow your lead, not only in the ministry, but in business. Yes. And we pray for a holiness to be on your life, a purity to be on your life. That as he has kept me faithful to my wife all these years in ministry, that he would keep you faithful to himself and to Shalana. That you'll look back at the end of your days and you're going to look and you're going to say, I made it, God. I made it, God. I made it, God. I never yeah. blaspheme your name. I made it, God. I made it from this time forward. Holiness and purity be upon you as it has been upon your past. We just thank you for it. I can go on for days, but other people need to pray. Bless him now. Ordain him now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Son in the face.
A son in the faith. A son in the faith. A son in the faith. So when he do it like me, don't mind. Because <laughs> a son always look like his daddy. Hallelujah. A son in the faith. When he preach like me, y'all don't mind. Because a son always look like his daddy. When he anointed like me, y'all don't mind. <laughs> When it's revival like me, y'all don't mind. Hallelujah. When they filled up in Dallas, y'all don't mind. When they have to move out of buildings, y'all don't mind. When he lay hands and the sick be healed, y'all don't mind. Hey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. A son in the faith. Hallelujah. First lady, I'm going to yield to you. Please pray over Shalane, and then we're going to... Let the ministers either speak a word or pray whatever y'all feel led to do. I'm just so blessed to be here this morning. The word the Lord had given me was that they feel unworthy. Mm. But the Most High makes us worthy. Hey! Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And these two did not come looking for anything but to serve the Most High. <laughs> And I stand here, Miss Sam, as a witness to your prayers being answered. You stayed faithful, and this is the fruit of your, this is the reward right here, the fruit of your reward. So I'm gonna pray for Miss Shalena because, because you'll need it. <laughs> Most high God, I thank you for Miss Shalena. I thank you for her humble spirit. I thank you for her joy and her love. I even thank you for her laughter. Now, most high God, I pray that you would equip her like you've equipped me. I pray that you would arm her like you, would arm, you have armed me. I pray that you would give her wisdom from on high. You said if any of us lack wisdom that we should ask of God and that you would give it to us liberally. So I pray that you would begin to pour on your wisdom upon her, that you would give her a spirit of understanding, that you would give her favor, that she would be his right hand. Father, I pray that you would open doors for them and that she would be able to give him a word of wisdom in due season. That she would be that faithful spouse, Lord. As the church in Dallas grows, we pray that she would be a foundational member, a foundational, just a position in that place. I pray that the women would learn from her, that they would look up to her, but that they would look up to the Christ in her. That they would not care more so about outfits and hair and lashes and nails, but that they would love the Jesus on the inside of her that she would know the King of Kings and the Most High God. Thank you, Father. Oh my God, I pray that you would use her like never before. I thank you for knowing them, God. I thank you for this opportunity for me to even know them. What a God. And we just thank you and we pray blessings upon them, praying blessings over Miss Shalena and those kids of hers, that they would be blessed and favored I want to pray a special blessing over the kids, if I can. No, come on can we get those kids up, Pastor? Come on up. Come on. And Father, I just continue to pray for those kids, that you would bless them, that you would favor them, that they would be mighty on the earth, Lord God. Please, Lord that they would be heirs of the faith and they would be good representatives of Christ. And that they would add and add to his resume and her resume and show forth the faithfulness of our God. I thank you, Lord God, that you say, suffer the little children to come unto me. And so, Father, we bring the children unto you, Most High. And we ask that you would use them mightily. I thank you, Lord God, for these warriors in the faith. In Jesus' name. I could go on, but I'm going to stop, Pastor. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Father God, I'm just thinking here of <laughs> prayers to pray over my, my fellow minister, Father God. And all you keep telling me is to pray the same prayers that you prayed for yourself, Father God. 
So, Father God, I'm praying that you would strengthen this man, Father God, throughout this journey, Father God. Father God, you took me, Father God, a peon, Father God, and called me into the work of the ministry. And I'm saying, Father God, that you would do the same for my fellow brother, Father God. Father God, I've been around him. I've spent time with him. And Father God, he has the same spirit, Father God, that who you have given me. And I'm praying the same thing over him, dear Lord. Father God, fill him up, fill him up, fill him up, dear Lord. Give him strength, Father God. Protect him, Father God, from, Father God, all the attacks, the, 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 the wiles of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Father God, put a hedge of protection over him, his wife, his family, Father God. Go ahead, Father God, in that house, Father God, and cover this family, Father God, in the name of Jesus. But, Father God, strengthen him for Dallas, dear Lord. Father God, you have called him, Father God, for a purpose as such a time as this, dear Lord. So, Father God, give him and equip him, Father God, everything he needs, dear Lord, like you did for me, dear Lord. Please, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Brother Bryce, we sat and broke bread together. God gave me a word for you. Like Samuel anointed David. He anointed you. And he said that all is for the tight spots when you get in because you're going to slip through. He made a way of escape for you. And when the giants come, you'll bring them down just like David. He is your strength. He reminds you the one thing that David always was, was grateful. Be thankful. And I pray right now, Lord, as you touch his heart and his mind and his family, that they would all see that he's grateful for what you brought him through. The journey was tough. The journey was rugged. He cried a many nights. He was broken, but you put him back together. He's better now than when he started. Lord, we thank you for him. We ask you to hold him. Lead him and his family. Let the children come around him that he know that he got arrows in his quiver, Lord. I pray right now, Lord, that you touch him and touch his children. And when they look at him in Dallas, they say, truly, God is in this man. Because the glory of God will shine through every word you say. And he's going to keep his promise to you that he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. And I pray right now, Lord, that every stumbling block that get in his way, you move him around. Or move the stumbling block. In Jesus' name, I pray for this family. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, man. Woo, I stand in agreement with the prayers. I don't know about you, but the presence of God is in this place. That's how you know this is God, man. This is God. B, bro. Woo, I stand in agreement with First Lady, the minister's pastor. The anointing is on your life, my brother. Everything you have, everything, you got everything you need inside of you, big brother. Thank you. Jesus is all over your life. All over your family. I watch you. You're not afraid to win souls for Christ, bro. You don't, it don't matter what it is, what it look like. You don't act like nobody else. You're you. You're authentic. And that's what people, that's what they need to see. And that's what they're going to see. The Lord showed me just like, I believe in Dallas. There's some time, there's some things going on in Dallas. There's some big pastors and preachers. They had their latter years where they're making their way out. Come on. God is sending this brother right on time. As T.D. Jakes move out. As Tony Evans get ready to retire. We got our brother going to Dallas, Texas to take over the anointing is on his life Lord stretch your hands towards my brother Woo! greater works we will see in Dallas greater works we will see in Dallas there's a move in Dallas they, they, it, it's in you my brother most high God we come before you in the name of Jesus praying over minister Bryce and his family God God thanking you for the calling on his life for the work that will be done in Dallas, God. The souls that will be saved in Dallas for such a time as this, God. Lives that will be changed in Dallas, Lord God. We think we've seen something, Lord God, but we didn't see nothing yet. 
Dallas didn't see nothing yet. God, use him in a mighty way, Lord God, that when he would preach, when he would teach, Lord God, they will see Jesus all over the sermon, God. They will see the cross all over the sermon, God. That he would bring things out of the people, Lord God, they never seen, Lord God. That the word will go forth for the God and fall on the hearts of your people, Lord God. Revival will start in Dallas, Lord God. Even the surrounding cities, they would, it would be like Queen Sheba. They would want to come see what worship is over there. They would want to come bearing gifts. They would want to come tithing. We got to be in the place. And I pray that anointing over Dallas right now, God. You would send everybody to help out. Bless the worship team. Bless everything. Give them wisdom, Lord God. Just like Solomon. Give me wisdom. I pray you would give him wisdom on his journey, Lord God, as he moved forward, trusting in you and your ways, your plan, God. Open doors, close doors. Do what you got to do, Lord God. We thank you for my brother, for what's going to take place in Dallas, Lord God. We look forward to the thousands of souls that will be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. Love y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bryce and Shalena. Mm. A lot of people think it started with the, with the evangelism ministry. But Bryce was faithful. Him and Shalena was, was faithful with me in the college ministry, dude. You know? And God has been preparing him even since then. But Bryce and Shalena, it's y'all time. It's y'all time. The dope is wide open. The path has already been made. All you have to do is step in that and walk in the obedience of the Most High God. And nothing's going to be able to stop y'all. Let's pray. Most High God. Father, if you, as you have called them now, Lord God, to the forefront, Daddy. Father, I pray now, Lord God, that your power and your anointing would be upon this family, God. Not just on Bryce, but the whole family, God. Father, God, power and anointing, O King. Father, that when they go out there, God, that the favor is already there, God. You have already prepared the way for them, God. You have already opened the doors for them, God. Father, I pray now, Lord God, that as they walk through it and walk in obedience to you, that you reward them greatly, O King. Father, let this thing be totally a blessing and never a burden, O God. You have called them for such a time as this, Father. And I pray, Lord God, that Dallas and Fort Worth, the whole Metroplex would never be the same again, God. That's good. Father, because your service is there. Lord God, not that he ain't had service there before, but Lord God, this one is special, oh God, to this house. Father, you have called them to move forward. Lord God, we know that you have so much greatness that you're getting ready to do with that ministry there. Ain't no devil in hell is going to stop what you have already ordained. Angel of the Lord, go with them. Go before them. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that they would be able to see the miracles, the signs, and the wonders that's going to flow from this family. Go with them now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 What we're going to do is um, at least bring the basket Paula, you and Tara, come on stage if you don't mind. Hallelujah. All the um, deacons and deaconesses, amen. God just showed me something. Y'all come on stage behind us, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put that right here. All the deacons, deaconesses in the house. Some of them, y'all like, oh, they work in the sound booth. Hallelujah. Just put it on automatic and come on through. Hallelujah. All the deacons, deaconesses. Hallelujah. Glory to the most high God. Y'all just fall in. Hallelujah. And the back first lady, you can come on up with me. Hallelujah. Glory to the Most High God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Most High God. All right, Bryce Land, y'all stand up. Hallelujah. Y'all come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, I just want y'all to turn around. Hallelujah. This is the team that's behind y'all, amen. We behind y'all. Hallelujah. This is the team we behind y'all. We love y'all. We rooting for y'all. Hallelujah. We here for y'all. Hallelujah. 
Holly, we're going to drive to Dallas at the drop of a dime, drop of a note, drop, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, we're going to drive there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The ministers, deacons, deaconess of this church. But, but not only that, look, look, look behind you right here. Look a family. Look a family. You got a whole family. You got a whole family that's with you, that's rooting for you, that love you, that want you to succeed. When it get tough, think about God. Think about us. Think about confidence we have in y'all. Amen. Hallelujah. We got y'all a couple of things. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, this right here is a, is a ring that, that I wear and the ministers wear. Amen. This, this is for you. Amen. It's, a, it's the minister's ring. Hallelujah. It's the minister's ring. Hallelujah. Uh, this is the minister's, the Bible. Hallelujah. You're going to be doing weddings and funerals and all of that. Hallelujah. Out there. So glory to God. Hallelujah. This is a prayer shawl. When I, when I was... Hallelujah, prayed on at Pine Street. They, they blessed me with a shawl kind of like this. It wasn't that expensive. They bought, bought me a cheap one, but, but they bought me, they, they got me one. I'm, I'm joking, y'all, but they got me one. Hallelujah. And, and when it got hard, when I would have those low moments, I'd go in my closet and wrap my shawl around my shoulders. And I would fall down and pray. And I would remember when they lay hands on me. I remember that my calling was witness. First by God, but some of the people I respected and loved, may this show be a reminder of the gift that's in you. Never lose hope. He gonna be with you the whole way. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. First lady got you a journal because she know you like to take notes. And we bought y'all some cookies and some chocolate. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna put that, let me see. I'm gonna put that right here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I saw something, I saw something in prayer. Move that chair from me, Phil, on the other side. I saw something and I just, I wanna do what I saw. Hallelujah. Children, if y'all could stand on the side of y'all parents. Hallelujah. Deacons and deaconesses, come forward. Hallelujah. First lady right here. Y'all be touching one another. Y'all come close enough that somebody put their hand on me. Mm. No, I'm gonna put my hand on them. Oh, that's what I saw. Stretch forward your hands now, crown, family. Father, we give. We give the vision the blueprint, the scripture in Revelation chapter three, the church of Philadelphia, the church of Philadelphia. We impart that vision, that blueprint into your spirit now. We download it now into your heart now. From the day you walked in and received the gospel to even before that, as your mom wrote that vision of Philadelphia into your DNA, we impart that, unlock that, download that right now into you and what you have seen done in Lafayette. Do it in Dallas. We give you the key of David. We said before your open door. Yes. In every way that he has blessed this church in Lafayette, may he bless you. The pastor, the ministers, the deacons, the deaconesses all stand in agreement that you receive the impartation of our denomination. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. Hallelujah. I don't know what else to do. We're going, we're going. Hallelujah. Y'all can. Yes, you, you got you. Please, please, please. Man, we just want to thank y'all, man. You know, we never, man, never would have thought, man. God is good, man. Like for a day, it's man. You know, we don't even feel like, you know. 
everything. Yeah. 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 You know, I give glory, man, to my mama for praying for me, man. Hey. You know, everybody, man, in the, 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 the feeling was small. We didn't even really a church yet, you know, calling our names and stuff. Yes. I believe the rest of the name that they call will come to hey. me. Everybody yeah. on standing up, you know. I thank everybody, man, the evangelist ministry, man. Want to shout Come on, name, man, the church, evangelism man. ministry. Home, you know what I'm saying? Deeper down, man, going to leave this thing, man. Did awesome yesterday, man, in Jesus' name. And y'all, I just want to thank my, my man. We said bishop, y'all, but man, this is an apostle, man. You know what I'm saying? A pastor, a pastor, man, a church star, man. You know what I'm saying, man? And look, man, I'm, I love it, man. Look, this is this, this the vessel that God used to save my soul. This is the vessel God used to save my soul, man. You know, so man, I honor man and give glory, man, to you and first lady, man. Being an example, man, you know what I'm saying? And man, the ministers, man, deacons, Miss Mary, man. Man, I love all of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all with us in spirit, man. Woo! And as we go, man, the whole house go, man. Amen. Woo, as we go, man, we take the whole house with us. Come on! I love Jesus, that. Like, I love Jesus, that. Jesus, my In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, y'all, listen, we're going to go ahead and, and, and dismiss from this moment.